Greetings to a new diaper test. In today's video I have a special diaper that definitely stands out, it is the rear seduction. You certainly know the manufacturer, he is one of the largest in the ABDL area and I already had some of his diapers in the field test. But all previous ones were rather printed with colorful motifs, this one can also simply be called the purple diaper, the rear seduction doesn't catch the eye because of special prints, but because of bright purple hue. It is completely purple in color, without exception, and there is nothing printed on it either. This is rare. I can spontaneously only think of the North Shore Megamax, which is also available in completely colored, for example blue, in addition to white and colorful. Also, according to my impression, you do not see that often, because many either directly like the colorful printed diapers, or alternatively the plain white ones. Built up the rear seduction is similar to what you know from the slightly more upscale ABDL diapers, it has reusable plastic glue, for that a glue zone in the front and inside are the raised cuffs on the side. They are to prevent the diaper from leaking when it gets full. They also provide some more room to further boost the absorbency with additional inserts. I won't be doing that in the field tests to find out how much the diaper can handle on its own, we'll get to that in a moment. First, let's look at the adhesives. Here we have the usual reusable adhesives with the blue stripe at the end, as have been used everywhere with this style so far. They are easy to detach and can be re-glued at any time if necessary, for example if the diaper slips or has become fuller and therefore no longer fits so well. We'll get to the wearing comfort later. Now first the practical test, how long or how much this diaper can withstand in everyday life? If it fits properly and is not put on too loosely, it does not impress when larger amounts of urine flow into it in a short time. I tested this by using the diaper in everyday life until it leaks. Then it is weighed and you can see how much it has absorbed. Until it leaked, it lasted an amazingly long time, wetting several times was not a problem. In total, the diaper reached a weight of just over 1.9 kilograms after leaking, quite a good result in the upper range. 230 grams is the weight of the empty diaper. This is also rather in the upper range and demonstrates that it is a thicker one that you can clearly feel. I tested a whole pack to get a comprehensive impression. This diaper definitely takes some getting used to, more on that later. Now first to the price, it is offered in the official store of the manufacturer, which is located in Canada and does not ship to Germany or Europe. I therefore ordered from a BDL factory from the Netherlands, a pack of 12 cost 29 euros and 69 cents there, so you pay 2.47 euros for a Swedish diaper. For the suction power, the price is okay. Similar to the Cloudries, which I tried in one of the last videos, but shipping costs are added. If you factor those in, you'll come close to other diapers from the same manufacturer that offer even higher absorbency, like the Critter Caboose. Depending on your taste, some may also find these more visually appealing because they are printed with colorful designs. On that point, the purple diaper is hard to compare to others, true, it is completely purple for which the manufacturer needs a large amount of color. But it is not printed with colorful images, as is the case with many other ABDL diapers. I wouldn't rate either of them as better or worse across the board, but as a matter of taste. Personally, I find both interesting and see the purple diaper as a nice change to the colorful printed. After all, you don't have to stay with a single design forever, but can have several diapers, so I occasionally wear this one and then on other days again a candy fluff, Safari or one of the numerous alternatives that are colorfully printed instead of monochrome. From the wearing feeling I found it positive already when unpacking that the diaper is not too extremely pressed into the package. With the crinkles I noticed that, especially with the two newer designs, they are so strongly pressed into the package that you get the first one to two diapers out only with difficulty. As a result, all the diapers are quite hard, even though they have a quite soft film on the outside in terms of the material. Therefore, you should fold the crinkles once crosswise and knead a little, so that they come out of this rigid position and become looser. If you do not do this, the crinkles do not adapt so well to the body and also feel quite hard until the shape adapts better to the body after some movement. With the purple diaper from this video, that was no problem at all. Even the first one you get quite well out of the package and it is soft. However, it does not have such a smooth film outside such as the Critter Caboose or some other ABDL diapers, both from this manufacturer, as well as others. But rather a slightly more matte one. Difficult to describe, it still feels like foil, just a little less intense. I found that unusual at first in terms of feel. 
After a few diapers this has settled and I now see it as an alternative to the smoother foil. Comfortable it is also, the cut is generous, but not too big. I had size M again like most other diapers and it fit well. There were no surprises like with North Shore, where the sizes are interpreted differently than with pretty much all other diapers. When wearing I also noticed nothing negative. Already empty you feel them clearly, so not necessarily the first choice if it should be inconspicuous. Under normal pants, you can still hardly see them. This changes only when the diaper is fuller. At just under 2 kilos in weight, space is of course required, so I wouldn't use the capacity to its fullest when you're out and about with it, at home, on the other hand, it's not an issue. Despite the not-so-smooth outer material, the diaper convinced me during the test, in addition, good absorbency and a pleasantly soft feel. If inconspicuousness is not so important and you like purple instead of colorful motifs, it is a good choice. Unfortunately, there is a bigger problem that I'm sure you already know if you've looked at my shorts. The manufacturer has announced that they are downsizing their line and in the process, this diaper has fallen victim to the red pen. There was a last delivery produced, which is currently still sold until the stock is empty. Those who want this diaper therefore only have the option of stocking up on remaining stock while supplies last. That is quite a pity. True, it is not as well known as other diapers, but still, you can find some comments on the web from customers who liked it and are sad that it will soon be gone. Feel free to write in the comments how you like the purple diaper.